It is the 6,969th day of the 21st century, and it is Wednesday, my dudes. We are here with the MC Quadcast no, from the Sumner Redstone Studio. What? Thousand days in the 21st century? No, no. Well, it's the 6,969th day of the 21st century. You just said it was a thousand. No, 6,969. My head hurts. Mm-mm. I'm done. Just look it up. 6,969. Six, 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 nine, six, nine. And it's Wednesday, my dude. He's a whole I, ass engineer. I quit. I quit. He's a whole ass I quit. I quit. I quit. Continue. <laughs> that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but we are here from the Sumner Redstone Studio. <laughs> you're. I can tell you're heated. You got me. Yeah. You're you welcome. Me. You got me. Good. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Come on. Do your job. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so happy <laughs> that I got you. Um. All right. All right. Nah. Starting things off. Giving a couple. Giving a couple shout outs to uh, the girls' basketball team because I think it was last week they had a play get onto the Sports Center top ten. Yeah, and it was a really dope play actually. Like, we haven't seen anything yet from the men's basketball team that's as good as this. I feel like, like it was really cool. It was like borderline like where she was close to like half court. And yeah. it was a buzzer beater. Yeah, it's usually where the logo is. That's where she was. Yeah, that's, that's like, pretty lit. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's lit. That's so sick. I mean. It just sounds cool. I mean, I can't do that. Well, maybe I could. No, they have no, a competition for that where you no, have money How often do you play basketball? Never. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was number it was number ten on the Sports Center Top Ten and it yeah. was uh Kanye Pollock. Yeah. She hit a buzzer Kanye. beater. Clap number zero. Up. Clap it yeah. up for Kanye. And she's a freshman too. That's yeah, really yeah. awesome. Yeah. Shout out to my Keisha Kelly for getting that shot. My Keisha, let's go. And that was and she was playing or the team rather, was playing Ryder and it was fifty three thirty nine. Actually I think we Fifty-three, thirty-nine. Us, or us losing. Wait, thirty-nine points in a whole game. That's it. Well, when the when the shot that was in the third game. quarter when the shot was scored. College scores are always lower than pro scores. Really, I fifty-nine because they play really they play low. they play less they play less. It's fifty-three, oh, it's thirty-nine. It's two halves and instead yeah. of four quarters. How long are the halves? You um, because I don't know anything. I don't know. I don't know how long they are. Oh. Right. I just, I just know that's how college basketball uh, that's is That's just, wow, that just feels really low, but okay. Yeah. I, Whatever. I'm yeah, I don't right. exactly know what the score was when she hit that shot. It was, No, that's what it was, 53-39. Oh, that's what it was when she hit the shot? Yes. Wow. Well. Hmm. Joe, I'm good at It was here, a cool right? shot. It was a good it, shot. It was a good, good shot. Right, it was cool. a really yeah. good shot. Yeah, I don't know anything about basketball, so. Well, what we do know about me I'm and Peter ignorant. over here, oh, I'm, big I'm so Yankee happy. fans over oh, here. But yeah, Jesus has Our walked beloved. into Yankee Stadium. And his name is Mariano Rivera. Jesus Our himself. Our beloved. Our Panamanian Hallelujah. king. Oh, my God. He <laughs> was from Panama? He, he was yeah, the from first, Panama City. I got a story for yeah, you. Yeah, Panama. Panama. Uh, he was the first uh, unanimous, unanimously elected player to the Hall of Fame. That is pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah. Like, and sorry, Ken Griffey Jr., not elected unanimously. Yeah, unanimously. Barry Bonds, not even elected yet. Really? Wow. Yeah. Why? Why West do you guys? Coast... Go ahead. What Sorry, I was gonna say the West Coast goes dumb hard for him. Well, what? yeah. Well, it's the st- the the steroid stuff. That's why it's keeping him out. But anyway. So why why do you guys not get elected unanimously? I mean, if like a guy is good enough. So like, is there like beef or something? So the the way that they're voted in is yeah. the Major League Baseball Writers Association of America has like okay. 500 members who vote on oh. who gets oh, in. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought and it was like five guys or no, something. No, no, no. And think about this. Oh, wow. Babe Ruth wasn't elected unanimously. Uh, guys like Joe DiMaggio weren't mm. elected uma- unanimously. Ted Williams wow, wasn't elected. Wow, that's Kali actually Stremsky. incredible. So People, that, makes it, that makes it a way bigger deal than for me because I didn't yeah. know that. I thought it was like a bunch of like old guys sitting in a room. Mm-hmm. Like, I think uh, Randy Johnson, no? Um, wow. Uh, a bunch of like basically think of anyone who you thought was like the best baseball oh player God. and a they were God. not elected unanimously. That's incredible. Yeah. Except for Mariano Rivera. Wow. Um, Our Sandman. Yeah. The, our, the greatest relief pitcher in the history of baseball. And it's kind of fitting that like he was the first unanimously elected player because when you think about you can make an argument for other positions for the greatest of all time, like, oh, who's the best outfielder of all time? There's Ken Griffey, there's Barry Bonds, there's Babe Ruth. Who's the best pitcher? There's a whole bunch of people. Yeah. When you think about relievers, 
Mariano's on the number on the n- number one on every list. Yeah. Like there's no one better. Six hundred and fifty two mm. saves. That's an all time. That's an all time record. Um, yes. Out of out of seven hundred and thirty two save opportunities. Thirteen time All Star. Whoa. Yep. Five World Series. And wow. he's only walked. He's only ever walked in his entire career. Two hundred and eighty six people. It? Yep. And he played for. Uh, uh, I think it was 18 years. Wow. That's a long time. So yeah, he's he, really good at baseball. Yeah. He's, he's really, really good at pitching. Really, and he's he really it, good at playing some ball. He did it ball. with one pitch. What do you mean he did what with one pitch? His best pitch was a cutter. And it was the only pitch he ever threw. Are you kidding me? Uh, he mixed in a couple, like, oh, yeah, I'm sure. somewhere at one his... point. But, like, he basically only ever threw one pitch. And nobody That's could incredible. hit it. That's incredible. Nobody could hit it. Will it be Mariano? Yeah. Clap it up for Mariano. He deserves a couple claps. Not all the claps, but there's yeah. definitely a couple of them. Sure. <laughs> Actually, unanimously, I think he's yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, 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 you're right. Like, no, he does. No matter no, if you're a Red Sox fan, like, you can't hate on Mariano because, like, uh, when, when a player reaches his status, like, he's just, like, just, he's a, just he's tip your hat. Like, yeah. just, like, no, you it's sick. It. It's, you like, respect. the amount of work that goes Yeah, like, I, like yeah. now, now, I wouldn't say anything about Big Poppy. No, David I would, Ortiz. Because I don't like him. Oh, well. And I don't like, he's been tested for PEDs and has gotten. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, yeah. well, moving on then. <laughs> but well, he's awesome, too, because, again, he has, like, that <clears throat> Derek Jeter kind of persona. Like, yeah. he's very classy and just goes out and the does what he does best. big brother. Yeah. Pretty much. Plus, Mariano, he, he's got that, he has the Mariano Rivera Foundation, and which provides education to underprivileged mm. people, especially in his native Panama. Mm. Yeah. That's nice. Beautiful. Mm. So, um... As it's brick as hell outside. Let's talk about that. Brick AF, yeah, so... Hence my scarf and my hat. I was walking here from the mailroom, because I work at the mailroom, for those who don't know, um, and I was shot. I had, like, two layers on, and I was shocked at how cold it is. It's so brick. It's OD. It's really, 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 really cold. And you know what? Because, like, wasn't it like 15 or like <clears throat> in the single digits? Last week. Sometimes. Yeah, right? So like now I'm like, oh, it's like 30. I'll be fine. Yeah. It's and then I walk, so I'm like, no, that wind chill, that that's wind chill real is, feel. is real. Have you seen like the maps? They have like, you know, like they do like the temperature maps and it goes from like purple to like. Yes. Like means like bad cold, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's just like this purple tumor over the United States, it just extends from the North Pole. So that's like North Pole cold. Well, and get this. You like, know in Chicago? You know in Chicago? They have 15 yeah. dead. As Wait, a resu- no. 15 homeless people dead oh as a God. result of the cold. And it's including like a 12 or 15-year-old girl. How terrible is that? It's well, awful. The, the, the winter is such a dangerous time it, for the homeless. I mean, it's, it's, there's never a good time to be homeless, but this is like a yeah. horrible time yeah. to be homeless. Sh- like I know That's in New crazy. York, they, they, they say like during this time of year, if you see a homeless person call like they have a number that you can call for to yeah. to like have someone come it's and take like, you to a shelter it's like it, is this normal like this has happened every now and then what these polar vortexes like this, no it was like but 50 th- but this cold it's been like fi- yeah, ne- yeah. It's, that's well it's cr- negative 52 like on you like, go like from Michigan. 50 down to negative 30 like negative 52 at Lake Michigan negative yes. 52 so that's with wind chill it was like warm that's as hell sickening. last week and now negative fifty two. That would actually kill you. Like yeah. you would, you would lose your fingers. Yeah, like that. any, any exposed skin. Like, That's did they go insane. to class still? People at, like University of Michigan or something? Like, oh yeah. No. Do they? Yeah, you, you see, Chicago, you see, stuff you, see like that? you see all the photos on Barcelona kids going in shorts and stuff. Like, yeah, bro, you're tough. Dude. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, then you lose it's a leg to a spike. It's actually I have, below zero. So I've, relax, dude. I've got, I've got friends at Notre Dame, and they canceled. You will die. Yeah. You can't. How cold is too cold to go to class? Here, for like for Manhattan College, I don't ever feel like it'll ever get like too cold, unless it's like super yeah. slippery. Like unless they're like roads are. What if the polar vortex hazardous. comes our way? Just decides to push over a little bit. Listen, say I'm comes not... over to say what's up. Yeah. I don't know. I guess like twenty five, negative twenty five. Negative twenty. I think negative really? twenty five probably be. But it. I don't think it'll ever get there. No, well, for here, I, mm, probably not. You don't have that lake effect. That's it's a true. lake effect cooling. We got some river, doesn't. but I don't know if... No, it's got to be a massive body yeah, of water, like maybe. the lake. Like, those big lakes are OD. Get a lot of cold water off that. A lot of cold water. And it causes a lot of snow, too, because the wind pushes the water yeah. the lakes. It's oh, crazy. yeah. Yeah, that's why they oh, always yeah, get Oh, yeah, fresh water freezes faster And then we than haven't gotten water. snow. They Although just the get nailed. Huge... Wasn't there supposed to be, like, a huge snowstorm, and then we got nothing? Yeah, we just got nothing. It, like, well, rained. Because it warmed up. It drizzled. Because it warmed up. I think we're going to get smoked. 
I think we're going to get smoked. I think we're going to get a big one like next month. Is that a prediction? Yes, because have you like have you felt the cold that we've had? It hasn't been like wet, rainy cold. It's been like dry cold. You know, and when you know you have that dry cold and there's clouds up there, but it ain't rain, it ain't snowing. It's just sort of like that Ireland f- overcast, but it's like cold as hell. You know. How many inches you calling? At some point. All the inches. No, like <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm saying a lot because I don't want to. I don't want to be go down to a number and then someone comes back and watches like, oh, you said it was so bro, but like. Seriously, because you know when you get that feel that it's like it's dry out, but you got clouds up there and it's mad cold. That's yeah. when it always starts to snow. We haven't gotten anything yet. It's it, we've been hanging out in that prime temperature a lot of like that thirty degree yeah, range. 30, yeah, I'm telling you, we just get a two day storm that rolls in, hanging out at that temperature. It's over. It's over. I got a good question. We've established the that the the coldness for when you go to that it's too cold to go to class. Yeah. Sure. How cold is too cold to go out? Just to go out to your, you know, friend's like place survi- on a for, Friday, for like to make the make for, the trek to hang out for with your friends. And stuff like purposes, that. I would cut it off at somewhere around twenty five to thirty. For Being, both? I mean I've never felt you wouldn't that, make the you wouldn't make the say. trek in a little colder weather in a little colder weather for your bros? No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that feels like. I've only never experienced making, that temperature before. The only trek I'm making at that point is I'm going to Burger King. I'm going to the deli. I'm going wherever yeah, it's closest Uber to get. Bring it to you. You're not going. Out I there. feel bad doing that. Then I feel like a jerk having somebody else come out in the cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'd rather he's do it myself. He's in the myself. car. He's in the car. It's not like he's riding the bike. Sometimes he says the bike. Yeah, yeah well, but then he's always in the car. How about when it's True. like yeah. he's always in the car? When it's it's like a torrential part. downpour, and you don't want to go out. So let me make the sixteen-year-old kid make a minimum wage, drive it up to me. Let's let's see how he does yeah. it. Let's, let's yeah, give man, him a that's shot. how it works. <laughs> Yeah. But I don't know. That's like when you think about that. Have you ever felt that? Have you ever felt negative twenty-five before? Negative thirty? Negative fifty? No. I've never. You know what? Never I think felt OV that. did. Oh. <laughs> oh. R.I.P. Everyone in OV. Get I live in Haran currently, and I I have to say like. You know, I'm a junior, and I hear all the terrible things that are going on in Ovi, and it's like, do I actually want to put up with that? Ovi's falling down. Yeah, d- don't you live in Ovi? No, I live in Greystone. Oh, yeah. you got the catch. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I know Anthony lives in Ovi. Yeah. Yeah, I know you, you don't got a mic, but if you could just tell me. You want, you want me to come over? Yeah, just come, just come, come to Scooch Yell in the general direction. Yeah, what's up, right, what's up, guys? We need, we, need a, we need a first. We need a first <laughs> what's up, guys? Here. Tony here. He's in the okay. picture. I he see needs, him. He needs hey, some Tony. consolation. Hey, he needs yeah, to get yeah. it out. He needs to get it off his chest. Quadcast resident OV member. <laughs> they got to be playing some sort of sick joke on us because, number one, our windows are falling out in our room, so it's oh just freezing all the time. And, number two, we had, like... Four days of, like, below freezing temperatures, right? And there's no heat in our room. Then, the one day, we're out of nowhere. It's, like, 55. They run the heat for 24 hours. I can't oh. breathe in my room. I got the windows open. Oh. It's, like, where was this when it was freezing? That's you know? how you get sick. I just don't get it. That's, that's all, all I have to sick. say. That's right. awful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank See, like, you. that's I'm inside back. knowledge right there. You, you don't, that, like, we, we're on the forefront, man. Yeah, no. <laughs> I like. That's I awful. genuinely like living in the dormitories. Like they're just like very easy to manage. And like granted, there's some annoying things that come up, but like that's awful. Like imagine that like yeah. 15 degrees out and the heat's not working, yeah. or the water's not running because the water's coming out brown. Now, well, I know that happens when they flush the pipes, and the city does that. But still, I know it's gross when it happens. Like there's really like all you gotta do is just run that for a little no, while, no, and the brown will go away. Yeah, then you're good. You're no, chilling. That's not what I'm saying. Yes, I've seen that happen. I bet you it's good for you but, too. What? I, my friends and Obi, they were saying for out? a while, like all those heavy metals. They were saying for a while that when they were doing construction, they didn't either have, they couldn't use the water, or when the water was finally like turned back on, they could use it. It was just brown. Like yeah, my, yeah, I have Snapchats right. of people for ten, more than ten seconds just holding it, staring at dirty brown water running out of the faucet. Just go Wasn't there it. no hot water for a while? Yes. Yeah, there was no hot water for a while. So. Here's why. He, 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 hold on. There's a boiler. You're not going to hear me. Here's what I want to ask, right? No hot water, no heat, right? Okay. That was what? What was the temperatures outside when that happened? Tens. Tens? Tens. And you were still able to survive. Like, you guys were okay. It, it sucked. It was close. But you guys, it was a close one. You guy, but you guys survived, right? What if we got polar vortex? What if it dropped down to negative tens, negative 20s around there? 
I mean, it wouldn't happen here, but let's say you get down to negative 10, right? I think that that could totally possibly happen the here. The school would lose money. You My get mom down, would be at the door asking for a refund. So, so you, get down, like, you get down to negative 10. OV, horrible insulation as it begins because I was in his room. It was awful. Yeah, it's no really heat running or shoddy heat at best. Negative 10. That's... Like you can't sleep in negative ten degrees. It's hard. Even if yeah. like the even if all right, fine, you run off body heat and the, the building is warm. I mean, how warm is the building gonna even get up to? Let's be honest here. Thirty if you're lucky, probably. It's borderline unethical, like the school's messing up. Like, yeah, no, it's new. awful. And I'm building. sure it's absolutely against New York City building codes as well. A friend of mine Absolutely yeah, I would got not his be heat surprised. turned back on. But there was a hole underneath the heater blowing in hot air, uh, cold air, so he yeah. wasn't it getting any it just of the heat. doesn't matter. There are very specific New York City building codes and New York City Department of Envi- Environmental Protection codes saying that you can't, you have to have certain rated insulation for your building. You can't be bleeding off and wasting so much heat because it's wasteful to the environment, which I'm absolutely positive OV is definitely doing if that's the case in his room. Multiply that by X amount of rooms on the exterior of the building. T- definitely in violation. But, so like, my thing is, like, okay, say you got that bed. Where are you going to put all these people? Mm-hmm. Where are you going to put all of OV? Or at least the people that have rooms by... I mean, yeah, it would be everybody. What are you going to do? There's not enough space. What would like, you do? They're you gonna can't buy everyone, put them in. There's not gonna, enough space in Lee or Haran. Are they going to buy everyone space like heaters? There's not enough room in those buildings. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I mean, I could fit my friends in my apartment if I really had to, but that's like, what, five people if yeah. I'm lucky? <laughs> like, it's, not, it's insane. It's really insane. It's like ticking time bomb, you know? Because you're just waiting for a winter where it's going to get so bad that people are dying on the streets. Like, hobos are dying just like in Chicago, right? What, what, what I can di- still see what's the, the difference though, between someone. Of how cold it gets. What's going to be the difference between someone <laughs> with no insulation OV and a hobo on the streets? Not that many degrees. And at that point, what difference does it really make? You know? Because you're still going to be shelter. married. Shelter is shelter, shelter yeah. but, the cold, but cold is cold. Are you going to want to go to sleep in 30 degree? Room? 40 degree room? I'm just saying, if it was like below 15 degrees and my heat doesn't work, I'm fighting everybody in Reza no, to I'm get that 15th out. out right back. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's a real issue. Like, to not, like, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, because you're paying for that shelter. It's $15,000 to live for here. That, yeah, it's, yeah, absolutely. 16. 16. <clears throat> Thank you. Off campus. Our Off beautiful. campus living. You can't beat it. All right. <laughs> you can't beat it. What might be able to beat. Or what maybe has been others is uh, Pizza Supreme. Mm. We haven't talked about it since we went. I'm excited to hear what you guys think about that. Oh, yeah. So let's all, all right, let's talk about how I was the first one there, and then Peter, and I ordered what I usually get, uh, which is eggplant parm, and I got chicken parm. But I was able to give it to Peter, and they, like, didn't charge me at all for it, and they, like, let me keep it, and then they brought me back. Neck plant parm. So that's what happens when we get there on time, boys. You get a free chicken parm. (laughs) And then what did you think of your chicken parm? Uh, I thought it was was good. I mean, it was like, it wasn't a world-shattering chicken parm. It was just a nice Italian chicken parm. It was good. Chicken parm. It was your average, everyday, nothing special chicken parm. No. No? I think it's better because I think what's average. Like, that's not to say that it's, like, not tasty. Like, chicken parm is tasty, but it was, like, an average amount of tasty. Okay. I thought it was really it good. It was normal. What'd you think? Yeah, give it like a well, six. six the and chicken parm, you get a choice of pasta. Like when you get it at the dinners, you get a choice of pasta or you get a choice of salad. Now, his chicken parm, I actually thought was good. I don't like any of the dinners. I actually don't like anything from Broadway Joe's. I think I look really? at the pizza. Yeah, dude, it's been like sitting out there for like all day. And the pizza oh, looks fake care. at that point, I it just looks like anyway. rubber. But and well, then we're the gonna past- have some disagreements there, so we're just gonna have to yeah. drop that. <laughs> yeah. So anywho, but um, I thought his was good. I love the eggplant parm there. I think it's really good. It's like you get a decent amount. Like you're always full. It did look good. Yeah, it was very it good. It was good. a full plate. It was a full yeah, plate. it was. And the pasta's like cooked normally. Like it's not like Al overcooked. Dente. Yeah, Al dente. it's not overcooked and chewy. The cheese looked perfectly melted. Yeah, it really was. It did look mad good. It's very good. I got um, I got a white slice and a regular slice. Mm-hmm. Regular slice was good. Unremarkable. The sauce is kind of good. It had a little bit of, like a sweetness to it, which I like. That's what you were saying too. Yeah. Yeah. I. Th- I mm, yeah. For me, it's a little too sweet. Really. I like. I like See, a little bit more of 
uh, seasoned, earthy like, flavors going on. Like a little on. bit more of like yeah. a like a zing to my pizza. Like not spicy, what? but like Emerald I just like it a little bit salty. <laughs> I like a little bam. Oh yeah, you <laughs> like Emerald that? Bam, bam. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah like Joe was saying too, it was a little greasy for sure. Oh yeah. I've had I greasier like grease. pizza, but yeah, a little something flying around. Um, a little grease is good though. What um, did you guys think of it? I know. So yeah, what did you guys Joe think? Joe got pizza. He got... I like the pizza. Too much grease. Mm-hmm. And I got a fo- focaccia slice, too, which is just uh, pretty much tomato sauce and garlic on top. Mm-hmm. Uh, garlic wasn't overpowering. That's it, good. I like the sauce. That's good. Like That's the, important. I think tomato pie, like focaccia, is supposed to be sweet. Like, the, the sauce is supposed to be sweet, yeah. so... It was really good. They also had garlic cruts around the edges, and a lot oh. of pizza don't do that. That was a nice that touch. Was a, that was a very big touch for me. <sighs> me I also like. I also like the customer service there. I think everyone's really nice and helpful. Remember when we walked down, right. and that guy came up to us and asked us like, if it "Was everything good?" Like, yeah. he, like, re- like said, like, nice I have an unpopular opinion about this. What? I don't like that. You don't like that? No. no. He's from, you, we're from Jersey, so everyone's like a jerk. You not like that. I everyone's really, standoffish. Like, yes. I don't want... I don't I'm from want, New York. You like, I food. still value that. I don't want to go into a restaurant at, like, like, or like, a, like a pizza place. I don't want to go to a pizza place like that or like a deli like that and walk in and everyone's like, oh, welcome. How you doing? Oh, it's so nice. We're so glad you're here. I hope everything's great. Oh, you're hard to please. Like, man. no, I want, yeah. I want you to look at me. Blank faced, say what do you want? I tell you, and then I leave. See, I like the I, I, like, it, I like, like the experience. I I, I, like I just and it's I don't nice want in there like too. I know you don't care about how my day is going, and I don't want you to pretend to care. You can pretend to care at Applebee's. You can pretend to Have care you at worked Chili's. At a restaurant? Uh, I worked at a I worked at a uh, like a grill on the boardwalk. How long? Two years. Have you ever worked? Yeah, at a restaurant? Beca- yes, that's where I work now. And. Since I was like sixteen. Oh, word. I'm I used to yeah. Best tables, yeah. Sometimes I talk to people for the like just because I'm bored as hell. Bored yeah. out of my mind. How's your day going? Literally, no, tell me I'm bored. Like I can't be on my you phone. Know, and you know okay. why I, I don't, You know why also I don't care about your day. I, you, I don't care about my own day. When you become Sometimes. more friendly with them, it makes them more inclined to tip better. And that and that's and what I remember you were saying that kinda makes you mad. Yeah. Anywho, I don't, how I'll, I'll, tip, I'll tip you well, better. You don't talk it. to me. See, I don't care. I'm I'm shot. I don't realize it. I'm like, oh my god, you're such a nice person. I have more of my money. You know. I always tell. So that's how I am. The less they talk to me, the higher their tip. If I have food in me, I'm just I'm like, just because I didn't it. come to this place to have a conversation with you, and it's not that I'm trying to. I'm. Ne- I'll never be rude to them. I'll never be like, go away. Uh, but like uh, I'll have the conversation. It's just like you just don't prefer it. I just would prefer you didn't talk to me. Yeah. All right, well, we got to review food here. So um, how my white slice. How would you rank? We're talking about my white slice. I had comments about that. Ooh. So the white slice. So you know, how, like when you have a white slice, it's like thick with like what is that ricotta? Or yeah. Whatever yeah. underneath. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Ricotta. It's white cheese, right? They usually put a bunch of it underneath the actual regular mozzarella cheese on the top. They didn't have that. It was just the mozzarella with dollops of ricotta on top Mm -hmm. and they put onions on the pizza i don't know if you saw that no 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 no. you would have thought right you would have thought what the hell is going on here it was like a light it was like a light white slice and the onions like gave it a little extra flavor too i really liked it like it's my like i ate it and usually when you eat a white slice you're like like you feel fat as hell because you ate like this much it's just carbs it's just carbs and cheese. cheese oh Disgusting. I like, but that's how that, I usually eat white slices with the dollops of ricotta on it. Yeah, but like certain white slices will put it underneath too, so it's like thick. Like you eat it in the ricotta. See, explodes. I've never had a, a white slice like that. Have oh, see, by me, that's how it is. But that was like one of the best white slices I've ever had because it was light. Like I could, I, I could go, I could have had another. It was mm. good. So, how would you guys rank Broadway Joe's, Supreme, and Goodfellas? Oh, it depends on what type of slice you're getting. Just because for me personally, just like, I, I guess your overall entire experience, whether you know sitting in. All right, quick, for, for, for for me, I I gotta go number one Broadway Joe's. I'm a diehard wow. Broadway Joe's guy. Interesting. I like I think that I get plain slices. I like just regular plain oh. pizza. Basic. So Average. I so I, I, I like Broadway Joe's, and then I'll go to Goodfellas next. And I don't think I I, don't, I honestly can't see myself going to Pizza Supreme that often. It's not my type mm. of place. 
when I get my pizza, I don't want a restaurant style. Mm. Um, I just well, want to go. I want to walk in. You like that dirt bag pizzeria? You get your shit, you get out, that's it. You get dirt to go. bag pizza, like dirt, dirt bag restaurant. Bag, dirt bag pizza, dirt just bag service, but the food around. is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I can't blame you. <laughs> it's really it. Sometimes I'm feeling that too. Um, see, I'm the opposite as him though. When mm-hmm. I go out to get my pizza, I don't get pizza. You, some, I, don't, I don't even get pizza sometimes. I'll get like beef patties and rolls and stuff and all so that. So how would kind. you make them? So I mean, Broadway, I haven't had the beef patties. Yeah, make pizza a quick. Supreme. You know, I like. You know, I gotta explain. All right, um, the pizza was good, definitely. Um, I would definitely say Pizza Supreme's pizza is better than Broadway Joe's, but I'm gonna hold down a full review because I still want to try the beef patties. I'm a big beef patty guy, and that's I not don't, Italian. But it's still mad it's good. Jamaican. And the rolls. And the rolls. I gotta rate. I gotta rate the roll. I don't. I have to, I have to I try the roll. I, I rolls important. Forget the beef you patty. Ever ha- you ever have a bad sausage roll? Happens a lot. And yeah. It's awful. I I say drop the beef patty review though. Almost all New York State pizzerias usually are carrying the beef patties. That's weird. I don't like that. No. And the guy. Do you know? Have you seen the owner? Pizza He's Supreme. like straight up Italian yeah, he is guy. Italian. Nice guy. Mm-hmm. Nice guy. I like him. All right. Quick review. How I would run it down. Definitely a tie between Goodfella and Goodfellas and Supreme, just depending upon what it is I want. I mm. definitely like the dinners and I like the pasta more at Supreme, but I think specialty, special specialty like slices and pies. I think Goodfellas kind of mm. takes a cake. I don't like Broadway Joe's. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'll fight you over that Broadway Joe's thing. Anyway, <laughs> a lot of people were thinking New Year, New Me, so they came to us with some questions. On how they wanted to, uh, you know, adjust into the new, new, oh, in, adjust into 2019. They this came so to us for our Don't listen so unqualified. To me. unqualified Don't listen advice. To so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just jump right into it. And first one, all right, I'm gonna read this as it's written. Go, um, please, and then hopefully we can decipher what immerse she means. Me, immerse me into, he, the, she, into the she, author's she, mind. He, All right, let's I don't do know. it. Doesn't matter. Go. Tell. So, there's a schister snack <laughs> that goes here, and he knows I'm in love with him, and I see him every time I go out or when I look trashy at caf- at the cafeteria. <laughs> the next morning, uh, but he's apparently a bad person, and I see him everywhere. So how do I not anymore? Not see him? Yeah. Hey. All right, here's a gag, ladies. I met my boyfriend on a Sunday morning after going out. Mm. It was a rough, you already know it was a rough. Oh, it was yeah. a rough sight. Not easy on the eyes. No makeup, probably, right? I don't mind. No, the no makeup part. I'm trying to say I'm. All right. <laughs> no, but you. All right. <laughs> oh, no, because you know girls always hate no. going out without the makeup. You, how many times do you see me? That is true. Yo, you guys see me all the time without makeup. You guys see me in between. I'm I don't care. Saying, I'm not I rock what I I'm got. I'm not saying you're ugly, but when girls are like, "Oh, I wasn't looking in the makeup," like no, they didn't I'm have saying, makeup, they still look fine. You look good on a Sunday morning they, after going out. No, I look like garbage. No I'm does. bloated and That's disgusting. That's what I'm trying to get yeah. at. No, I look good. <laughs> what I'm saying to her is, don't take that the wrong way. Maybe she doesn't look as bad as she thinks. It's true. Honestly, okay. Wait. I thought I don't know what a sister snack I, is I, though. I that's I mean, weird. It's, a it, they just added a couple extra letters snack. to sister snack. Si- I know, but that's all right. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. I, wait. Don't know. I thought her problem was she doesn't want to see the. She guy doesn't want to see him anymore because he's a bad dude. What is that? Oh, oh, so she got involved with him. N- uh, she or is just rumors? heard that he's a bad dude. Oh, so she doesn't. Well, who is she hearing from? I don't know. Who are her sources? Yeah, because how many times has, has a girl given a, a guy a bad review because it didn't go her way? Yeah, it's true. It's really true. Wow. It's really, really, really true. I have no, I know really a few of them. Like yeah. I know a few of them. Wow. Hate to see it. Yeah, no. The, the, Hate to see the it. The grapevine is ugly. It is. It gets thorny, man. Unless she has hard facts and knows that he's actually a piece of shit. Yeah. Anyway, next question. <laughs> okay. So the next question is, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> How do I get a boyfriend when there are ten total men that go to Manhattan College, but three of them are gay and five are in a relationship, <laughs> and the other two I only see once th- once a month in the deli when it's past three a.m. and I look like trash? We got a lot of a lot of girls thinking they look like, like garbage. Trash. That's wow. That's this really, is this is where um, your advice comes into play, that you actually like don't look as bad. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you, you probably don't. don't. I could tell you honestly Confidence. that I, I know maybe this is just a personal thing. Yeah, maybe it's just a personal thing, but I like. The natural no makeup look, like that's fair. Like when, Guys gr- like when it. a girl, yeah, I agree. When I a agree. girl to me is pretty, it's when she's like not wearing any makeup. Right. Okay. Like, in that natural like a, in the wild state. Sometimes when I see girls walking around with like a full intended. face, 
I'm like, I feel like I'm not looking at a real person. Yeah. I feel like I'm looking at like an alien trying to put on a human face. Yeah. That's how we feel about you guys when you guys like start growing out your beard and it just doesn't look right. Are you really gonna come but at see, me that's like that? my wow. animal so, state. But that's like eating in the jungle. You but know? this is where it comes <laughs> into this. But you this is my point. Though? Here's my point. My point is everyone has their own preference on how they want to look, and whoever it is that is attracted to you can appreciate <clears> whatever <throat> it is that you <clears throat> like. So wait. Some people want the beard. Some people want to wear makeup. What was I know the person who they who is a who they share an attraction with. It's up to them. All right, but we're not answering the question. She wants to find a man. A man. Oh yeah. She she wants first to get of a all, she needs to work. Focus on her studies, and then it'll come. Stop looking. All right, because that's when you're not gonna find anything. How about you focus on your schoolwork, get them stats up, and then you always the catch man. a fish when you're not. All right, looking. but let's say let's say her stats are good. Maybe she wants maybe she wants that extra thing in her life now. If How you're unsatisfied like with what's going on here at college, then go on Tinder. This is the 21st century. We no. have these resources now. I don't touch Tinder. I hey, never it's touch Tinder. it's definitely a mess. It could be a mess, but that's messy. You have, to, you have to dig through a lot to find the gold. I'm not knocking Tinder. I'm I'm knocking Tinder only for the fact that if you're seriously looking for a boyfriend and you're gonna go on Tinder, it's not looking bright. Listen, you listen to me. I have something to say. I have a counterpoint to that. I know many people who have gotten married. Married man Tinder. So don't give me that. If you don't like don't Tinder. Don't give me that. If you don't like Tinder, That's I got something for you. I got something for you. And this is a little <laughs> bit of an RA speaking. But, but honestly, I have met friends, girlfriends through cl the clubs that I've joined. When you yeah. join a club, That's true. you're with a bunch That's of people true. that you share things in common That's with. That's true. And maybe there you find you find your mans. Find your That's mans true. at O'Malley. Don't find your man on the find, find your man who's Naturally. doing something for his life. Oh. Find your man at the salad bar. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. He's trying to get his weight up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't think there's any. I don't think, I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. I, I think don't you think should it's wrong use all the, all, everything at your disposal. I just think Tinder, that specific app. That's all I'm saying. Oh, that specific app? Yes. All right. we there's, got good, a lot. there's good and bad, and I think at the end of the day, it comes down to your discretion. But yes. we'll leave it there. We it's, got it's a lot of discretion. questions from girls this week. Okay. And I could, I, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is my, you know, I'm not, I'm not up with the times, but these just all sound like girls to me. Um, so this one says, there's a boy that's, that literally will not stop staring at me. Okay. He has two classes with me, and I swear he just will not stop. He also follows me to class, and I'm starting to get mad uncomfortable. Oh. This is how you do it. How do I let him politely know that he's ruining my life? Ready, ladies, is how you do it. This is going to be fierce. <clears throat> you he's fart gonna, right he's in front be of him. strong will. No, well, first of all, all right, I know I keep bringing oh, it up. they actually do. So my boyfriend, like, he got my attention because he kept staring at me, and I'm uncomfortable. Like, Yikes. I was like, first huh. of all, my, I was like... <clears throat> This could be sending a really wrong Like, that's literally message. how I am. This is how you got to do it, though. You don't have to say anything. I feel like it's more awkward sometimes when you're like, can I help you? Like, I feel like that's kind of rude. Well, that's why That's why she's asking for You just go like this. You go. <laughs> and go right back to whatever you're Give doing. Give the look. Yeah, just. <laughs> just what? Well, she's starting. And smile starting... like you're going to say hello, and then you don't. And then you go back to doing your work. Well, she's starting to feel uncomfortable. Though. She says this dude's following her. Oh, like, that's a joke. That's I, a joke from you. What? From you, Netflix. The have. What are you talking uh, about? I think you Anthony's the, the only crowd. one. Yeah. I watched it, but I know she's what show? What? What's, what's the show? It's called You, and there's a stalker boyfriend in it. His uh, name is Joe. Oh no, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. I haven't watched it, but I've heard of it. Yeah. Uh, so oh, that's, well, that's like a serious like, issue. <laughs> <laughs> if he's like really following you, if he's stalker, if he's stalking you, he needs to let Res life know. Sorry, honey, we don't have any advice for you. If he's actually following you, like creepily, okay, maybe like someone else needs to get involved here. I mean, I don't know the severity, but. If, he's just, if you're going to the other class and he's going to the other class and you're both in the same class, maybe he's not stalking you. Maybe he's just going to the other class mm -hmm. and you're being paranoid. Or maybe he wants to talk to you. That could be it, too. But if, she not, if she's not feeling but it. But if she's, not, if she's, she's not uncomfortable, you got to follow that. You I don't want to say, like, heart. oh, maybe this guy's just a nice guy she, because I don't yeah. want to. I don't, I don't yeah, want to say because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to limit that. For him? I would err on the, on the side of caution, especially in this day and age, you know? For him, I would say, say hello, see how's it go, how's it go, like, how does it go, and if it goes bad, just leave it alone. Yeah. For her, I also want to make sure she's not being, like, 
too like narcissistic like you know those yeah. girls who are like why does he keep following me girl you know how small this school is yeah it's true like like is he really following you if he is she would only know that only she would know and she just told yeah. him like so figure that out ask yourself are you being narcissistic yes or no and if you think maybe you're being a little od try to talk if the conversation proves to the fact that no you are not being narcissistic and get the hell out yeah get friends to help you do whatever you gotta do but that's yeah. serious yeah, yeah and again you know, it's, i just want it's, it's, it's a slippery slope it's dicey i don't want to commit to one thing here you know yes because it's like it's once you see uncomfortable then you start to get like oh you know it's there's I, a lot just of wanna, no, no. I just want to remind everyone that, of course, we have no basis for our opinions and our advice is completely unqualified. Yes, don't listen to us, yeah, please. Bit, yeah. Follow, your, follow what, how you feel in your <laughs> current situation and not what I'm saying on yeah. your mic right now. Yeah. I usually just do like dirty looks and carry around pepper spray, so there you go. it's worked out well. Uh, funny story, I was uh, somebody asked me to go into their, a girl asked me to go into her coat and get her her lip balm. And she was like, oh, it's in a little cylinder container. And so I reach in. I'm like, oh, here's a cylinder. I grab it out. It's Mace. Wow. I was like. That's my type of chick. Wow. (laughs) Yeah. I predict that 2019 (laughs) is going to be the year of the Kanye West. Absolutely believe it. What does that I mean? I think that, all right, so. Politically? Oh, God, I no, hope no, 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 not. not. Musically? No, I, not, not, I, I think a little bit of everything. I think he's going to be in the news a lot this year, even more so than he has in 2018. He dropped. I mean, whether or not you're a fan of his music, he's probably one of the most talented artists of our generation. And he has this proclaimed album that's coming out called Yandi. It's been delayed forever. People on the internet, like insiders who have listened to it, said it was the most magnificent piece of music they've ever listened to in their entire life. All right. That, they're, that, they're dragging it. Yeah. They're yeah, dragging well, it. They got, they got the, they got the music. They got some I, bands see, I'm, a big, I, I'm a huge fan of Kanye's music. Mm. So for me, if this is how it really is, and like his last album, Yay, was like, this is one of my top albums of all time. I love that album. That is like, so I, trifling to I, me. I, I can, no, I really connect with that album a lot. I like that album. Have you listened to the album? Yes. Have you sat down? I'm like a huge, listen, I'm a huge R&B hip-hop fan. My the music and this is where we're probably different, yeah. which is fine. No, I can respect yeah, that's why fine. you guys that's like fine. it. Yeah, I respect I respect creative. I I prefer more that old school. Oh, okay. so, so like, that's fine. Yeah, so like he, so that's Kanye. not Kanye. Yes, Yay absolutely was not like Life of Pablo. Not, absolutely, absolutely not. not that kind of thing. So, and Kanye produced my favorite rapper's last album. So I love Nas. That's like my yeah, all time. Yeah, Nas. That's right. And he produced his last album again. Nas is old school, old mm-hmm. head type guy. And again, I had that. You can tell that it was produced by Kanye. Like, yeah. you, you very, like, very much In terms much so. of, like, just the style. The sound. Like, the sound. The quality or, like, just the way it sounded? The way it sounded. Yeah, no, definitely. But, like, see, I'm, I, I'm more of, like, a modern rap guy. Like, I mm-hmm. really like Kanye for the way he's, like, pushing the genre. But anyway, I think the album's going to drop. I think it's, it, it's pro- it could has potential to be his best album ever if he's going to follow the momentum that he's had with everything he's done thus far. And then if he runs... Tries to run for president in 2020. Oh if he tries to do that, or if he even teases it, he's you're gonna see his face everywhere. I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing. I'm just saying it's a bad that thing. You are, yeah, it's a bad thing. It's, it's a, a bad, bad thing. thing. We do not. It's need a bad that. thing. It's a Part, bad. Political but, affiliations aside, Kanye for president's a bad thing. No, yes, that's an awful. That's an awful idea. Seriously. Awful idea. But I, I'm telling you, if those two things happen, you're gonna be hearing Kanye West all the time, 24/7. Guaranteed, I think 2019 is going to be the year of the yay, whether or not you like him. Wow. Wow. Thank you for that. Yeah. I've been thinking about that. Yeah, you really have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like really I was like, wow, I didn't even know he had an album really coming out. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> you deep dive. All right, what was your prediction? My <clears throat> prediction? <sighs> <sighs> this is heavy. <laughs> this is going to be a heavy one. All right. I have a prediction for myself. Later in the year. This is later in the year. Sure. I have a prediction this is the year that I finally hurt myself rooting for the Yankees. What does that mean? <laughs> like, this, yeah. like all, all, pre- all, all, right. all previous years, I, I started watching baseball religiously after the 2016 season. I watched it a little bit mm-hmm. before that. After 2016, Yankees, pretty much every day I'm watching the game. Yeah. Right. Um, so those two seasons, they went to the postseason. 
And let me tell you, I can't get any work done when the game's on. Oh. Even before the game, because I'm thinking about the game. I can only get work done when the game's over. So he's and, die hard, everybody. And when I'm watching the game, I literally have to have a stress ball in my hand. Because I get, You're I, a get lunatic. Heated. I get heated. You're a lunatic. And then, like, You're going to have a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And I think <laughs> this is the year because two years, they got knocked out. I think this year they're looking good. They might be able to make it a good deep, like, they made it one game uh, away from the World Series in 2017. They got knocked out in the ALDS last year. <laughs> but I think this year they might actually go you to the World Series. Go I think they might actually go there. And I feel like I'm going to get too heated and I'm going to, like, I'm going to jump. Just hurt, give I'm gonna break a leg doing something. An I don't know. Attack. I'm I like or uh, stroke something. I don't know. <laughs> I the say Yankees? anxiety attack. He's like break a leg. I'm like yeah. too though. Like God. the Yankees were like my first love, <clears throat> and they're also my first heartbreak. Like they've already broken my heart. <laughs> like I love watching them play again. A team that you know typically just delivers, you know, but they always somehow let you down. <laughs> Imagine being a Cincinnati Red like A Rod. Look at A Rod. Like I love him, and then you find out. It's Aroid. You hate to see it. <laughs> that was a huge letdown. But come on, don't they're all on it. Come on. I think I don't think that Big Papi's on it, that's all I gotta say. Fame, but like that's a different that's think, a discussion for like a different think, type of podcast. I think the overwhelming majority of professional athletes are on something. I think that they get tested though. They, all they get the tested time. all the time. The thing they get tested that all the time. They got Cano. From what I understand they got is Robbie. that from what I understand is that the technology moves so fast that they're always one step ahead of the testing. Look at Lance. Lance beat it forever. How did Lance beat it? As far as I'm aware, Lance beat it because he was just always ahead of the tests. Is that what happened? I don't even know. But that's that. I, I think that <laughs> if you get into this arena where your competition is using whatever, PEDs in some way, shape, or form, what are you going to do? You're going to fail if you don't. Everybody else is doing well, it. Well, I won't it. knock. I maybe this is what you're trying to say. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that there's always going to be some type of vitamin or some type of enhancement you could take that may not be considered necessarily like as a steroid, but still enhance your so strength. Some sort of it's some sort of PED. Yeah. Um, I don't See, know I don't I know. Agree. I don't. I, this again. I don't, this they is, get tested way too this much. Is yeah, I don't think they're getting away with it. So I don't but know. Like, to, like the like Barry Bonds not being in the Hall of Fame, Roger Clemens not being in the Hall of Fame. I think that's messed up because even though they were on steroids, so were most of the people of that era. Yeah. And you compare yeah. them to the era that they played in. That's my personal opinion, uh, but that's not really for a podcast yeah, like this. I, I'll go I'll go on like Barstool Sports and talk about. Wait, that. wait. I have one thing I want to bring up before we. Is I'm I'm thinking about it and I do want to mention it because I'm curious. Is that if 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 all these big name guys were getting tested, like you said, Robinson Cano, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he last season he popped he popped the test, right? Last sure. season he got so why why would he take this stuff if he knew he would get caught? A lot like, of them do it when they're trying to come back from injury quicker. So that's the thing. If you know you're going to get tested, they probably think there's a way to flush know, it out. Though. Or you yeah. know that you're they drink gonna, like tons of water. You know that you're going to fail it. Why would you do it? So what I'm arguing is that well, if these guys are doing it and they know what they're up against. Maybe they've been passing them previously somehow, and then they messed up this time. That that's it. I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah. I don't know. It's unsubstantiated, but it's reasonable speculation. Ariella, what about you? You know what, guys? You're gonna be so disappointed with me. I don't like to make predictions. I just grew up this way. I'm very superstitious. Mm. Like I'm, I don't want to say. I'm gonna need say... a close up on my face when she said that when we edit this. because yeah. <laughs> I'm so disappointed, I am disappointed in you. I know. I know. I don't even want to. I, I, no, I, even is, I just push I the just, envelope. Just I come personally on. like. Go. I just don't like. I don't know. Like that just make how... a prediction for me. Come on. How's my year gonna go? Come on. Push the envelope. Prediction for you? Yeah. No. You're, oh, I got a prediction for your ass. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> well, now she's no, ready to go. <laughs> she's gonna give you that curse, man. Ready? She's gonna give you that superstitious curse. I got it. Your girlfriend's gonna stop liking your beard. Woo! Mm. That's a wrap. We're done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is actually Something a wrap. I think right we're now. done, right? That's too much. That's too much. That's too far. All right. All right. Well, <clears throat> that's it for this portion of the show. Stay tuned because we got next coming up is an interview with Kevin Donald.